This is a retelling of the story of Josephine Mokatasha, who suffered an ordeal at the hands of the Lusaka Strangler, Milton Sipalo. Once upon a time, in 1980, there was a kind lady by the name Mrs. Josephine Nora Mokatasha. She lived in Chingola, and one day, on the 17th of September, she decided to travel to Mumbwa via Lusaka. She got on a bus, and when it reached Kitwe, she met a girl who was going to Petawoke. They both arrived in Lusaka at 20.15 hours in the evening at Kamwala Bus Terminus, where minibuses to Chilenje operate today. Since there were no more buses that evening to take them to their destinations, the two women planned to spend the night at the bus terminus. However, their night took a scary turn when two soldiers in combat uniforms approached them. The soldiers asked them where they were from and where they were going, even checking their national registration cards. The soldiers then insisted they go to a nearby rest house for the night, but the women politely refused. Things took a dark turn when the soldiers grabbed the belongings of the girl going to Petaoke and headed towards Kamwala. The girl followed them to retrieve her things, leaving Mrs. Mokatasha behind. Later, one of the soldiers returned and convinced Mrs. Mokatasha to go with him, promising a comfortable stay at the rest house. Before heading there, he even bought Fanta orange drinks for her and her daughter. As they walked, the soldier suddenly attacked Mrs. Mokatasha, grabbing her by the neck until she passed out. When she regained consciousness, her belongings were stolen and she realized she had been very close to danger. She managed to reach a kind family's house on Malata Road, where they took her in, providing a bed for her to rest. The story takes a turn to a man named Sipalo, who was identified as a suspect in a series of terrible crimes. He allegedly led investigators to locations where he claimed to have killed some victims. However, the mystery behind his motive and his alleged accomplice remained unclear. The tale ends sadly, as Sipalo's reign of terror concluded with his own tragic end. On September 19, he ran away from the police, climbed to the top of the Lusaka Central Police Station, and plunged to his death. And so the story of Mrs. Mukatasha's frightening encounter and the search for justice unfolded in the streets of Lusaka in the year 1980.